How's it going, everybody? Welcome to a brand new episode of Crypto Clout. I am your host, FaZe Crypto, and we have breaking news. We're pretty much witnessing the Bitcoin price uh, dropping from the point where it had basically risen up to, which was around that $10,800 mark. And now we're sort of witnessing the signs of capitulation sort of rearing their ugly head once again. And I, th I figured that this was an interesting time to talk about our good old friend card. I'll actually start off this video by reading this interesting tweet. Uh, ADA will become a very scarce asset. 80 to 90% of the supply will be locked up in smart contracts, including decentralized uh, finance games. Uh, most of the leftover supply will be staked uh, because of that. Being able to have your own D app on Cardano's mainnet will be a privilege. And I think that that's a pretty interesting point to start the video off with. Uh, of course, this is very interesting time in the uh, overall cryptocurrency space because right now, um, I think that this will be a point that people look back on. Um, I mean, <laughs> you know, one of the things that I've heard about in the cryptocurrency world is that b being in cryptocurrency in 2019 is essentially managing regret, managing to, uh, you know, FOMO, whatever you want to call it. But I definitely would call it, um, I mean, cryptocurrency is ultimately uh, dealing with, uh, you know, your own psychology and your own, um, you know, regret. And I mean, of course, remember, I'm not a financial advisor. Um, this video is not financial advice. Of course, you know, this video is for entertainment, educational purposes only. But I believe that Cardano will be one of the most uh, regretted, uh, overlooked altcoins uh, in the history of crypto. And of course, right now, while we're witnessing the early signs of Bitcoin uh, capitulation, um, of course, that's my overall perspective. I know other people out there uh, will fill your ears up with all this talk, all this moon boy nonsense, if I can use that term. Um, you know, the concept of uh, reaching Bitcoin's all-time highs. Uh, I mean, obviously, anything could happen in the uh, Bitcoin world. So of course, I'm not going to completely and totally rule that out. But in the short term, I definitely could see Bitcoin's price dropping and visiting that $9,000 at least uh, in the short term, especially where we're seeing the fear and greed index, um, especially where we've been seeing Bitcoin's response to a lot of the different global events that have been manifesting themselves. Um, it will be very interesting to see how the cryptocurrency space continues to evolve uh, as we move forward. And I would just like to uh, um, you know, pay attention uh, you know, to the vast opportunities that await as we see the altcoins continue to um, be more, uh, you know, you could cheaply accumulate a large amount of large bags of these things. And I know that there's that meme that goes around of people who talk about, oh, I've got this huge bag of altcoins, yada, yada. But I think that it will be those people who have the biggest bags of altcoins who will actually stand the most to gain in the long term when we talk about the overall market cap. I mean, this is the big number right here, of course, right now. I mean, we've got Bitcoin dominance at 59.3%. I know people look at all sorts of different indicators, but I could see Bitcoin dominance getting up to even as much as 75% uh, you know, in the short term. And uh, that's also very good news because what goes up must go down. I think that I need to point out the fact that uh, you know it's oftentimes cited that the Bitcoin technology could easily be uh, you know taken out by a more advanced cryptocurrency now whether you want to bring up the concept of uh, perceived value versus actual value bitcoin as a store of value gold uh, equivalency and all of these other things that's a conversation for another day i believe that it's very interesting to point out i always think that bitcoin will be a uh, important key player in the cryptocurrency space but the real question is will bitcoin always be top dog and i think that that's a conversation that a lot of people are not willing to have in the cryptocurrency space but that is why you subscribe to this channel that is why you guys are on this page and none of the other youtubers who are talking i mean no disrespect whatsoever i love the cryptocurrency community that we have here on youtube uh, you know there are some very great content creators out there i have given shout outs to plenty of other content creators in the past and i will continue to do so in the future however i do think that bitcoin is overhyped 
not to say that I mean I think tw- I think ten thousand dollars is a very low overall. Uh, I mean I think that's a very interesting entry point. I think people who buy Bitcoin at ten thousand dollars are still going to be very much in the green in the future. I uh, you know you've seen it before and I'll say it again. I am a proponent of the concept of the hundred thousand dollar Bitcoin. I think that it is very possible. I'm not completely ruling that out in the short term as well. However, in the very near future, I could see the Bitcoin price dropping below that $9,000 mark, which does pose a very interesting opportunity as we see a lot of these altcoins gaining, uh, that, well, at least losing a lot of their uh, actual USD equivalency, uh, which could pose very interesting opportunity to fill uh, some very heavy bags of altcoins. That is my perspective. And also I could see as well, well, we see the Bitcoin dominance bleeding out just as it has been that 90, I mean, that 69.3. Uh, I mean, when that gets down to 65, especially if if it goes up and then it goes down, we're going to see that money bleed out into the rest of the cryptocurrency space, bringing Cardano into the limelight. Definitely a very interesting cryptocurrency to say the least. When we want to talk about Shelly, we want to talk about the future of the decentralized uh, ideas that are very much available, uh, you know, in, in the light of day, something that's really never been, uh, really never been uh, sort of uh looked at in this perspective because you know it's it's one of those things that's uh, only really been a conversation piece in the public space uh, as the recent times have been uh, you know upon us so we've got Car- you know Charles Hodgkinson um, we're shipping the 1.6 Cardano update over the next few days. Uh, it'll be interesting to see those screenshots of, uh, you know, and of course, just looking at how the Cardano community has evolved over this short amount of time it is very exciting to see how Cardano has been able to make a lot of these different advancements in the space. And I think as far as academic credentials are concerned, as far as looking at this space and the overall potential that cryptocurrency poses on the global stage, I think that Cardano Cardano was well ahead of the game when you want to talk about the actors, uh, you know, working on the global stage, uh, you know, working in uh, developing nations and all these other things. And I think that right now Cardano is dramatically overlooked. Uh, you know, CEO of IOHK Charles Hopkinson reveals 1.6 Cardano blockchain update release. Uh, and this will be very interesting to see, uh, you know, of course, uh, you know, as we see Shelly, as we see all these other aspects of crypto and Cardano evolving alongside it, it will be a very, uh, I think it'll be one of those times in history that people will remember as, uh, you know, and I remember where I was sort of thing. And uh, I'm very excited and I'm glad that you guys have been to be able to share this with us as we see this space is in its infancy in 2019. And I think that it's very interesting to see how cryptocurrency has been able to make a lot of these different headlines. Of course, just broad overlook of what we're seeing here. Um, young co- youngest Bitcoin millionaire willing um, to stake it all on, you know, that, that's funny. Bitcoin's youngest millionaire launches crypto-based Libra killer. Uh, I think Libra is already sort of had its uh, time, you know, had it. I think that it was more just hype. I don't think anybody in, who's actually serious about crypto is really excited about Libra. But then again, I think that the bank people, you know, the your grandma, you know, all those random people who aren't necessary, who are more noobs to cryptocurrency, I think that they'll sort of get caught up in the Libra sort of hype bandwagon. And I think that Libra will serve to be one of those cryptos that does initiate a lot of adoption. But I think it will also be one of those uh, at arm's length sort of um, cryptos as far as we see the space develop. Um, But yeah, my overall perspective, I think that uh, Cardano will make plenty of people happy, uh, you know, as things continue to move forward. Now, of course, I do see Cardano's price in the short term, probably follow Bitcoin's lead, uh, you know, as it falls down. I mean, that obviously not financial advice, uh, you know, but I'm not going to be catching a falling knife. I'll be waiting for the prices of a lot of these fine digital assets to uh, fall and then I'll be accumulating when everybody else is in fear. Uh, you know, personally, my own perspective is that I like to buy when everybody else is afraid and then sell when everybody else thinks that they're going to be rich. Uh, I mean, that's just my own personal perspective on crypto. But anyways, 
I hope that you guys have enjoyed this content. Make sure that you guys subscribe, comment down below, letting us know what you think. Am I right or wrong? Always interested in hearing. And if you guys can provide your perspectives, uh, it's always welcome. I hope you guys have a good day. I'll see you guys next video. Have a good one.